In the previous video, we have imported our starter project to our simple safe system tutorial. Now, I would like to talk about the project itself and how are we going to save the data from it. So, the project works like this. We have the game manager and uh, the game manager drives the whole project. The input manager allows us to get the input from the mouse click and by clicking one of the buttons, we get the appropriate behavior of placing a road, a house, special structure or a bigger structure. Now for placing the structures we are using the structure manager, which has a house, a special structure and a big structure, and those are selected at random. We have different prefabs for different uh, type of object, and we have some weights that we select, uh, through which we select the type of building that we want to place. So we have a flat, flat 1, flat 2, and those are different prefabs. Now, this poses a question, how, do you, uh, how are we going to save that specific prefab that we have selected at random? So the, this, was, uh, this is one of the concerns that we are going to have, have to face. Another thing is that we have the buttons to select what type of structure are we going to place. But when we are loading the data from our save file, we are not going to know exactly which, buttons were, which button was pressed. So we are going to have to know exactly from which array should we take our object that, uh, of the index that we have saved, so that we can recreate exactly the same structure. The road manager is responsible for placing the road prefabs on our map. The road prefab is selected by the road manager itself. So first of all, we are going to select the game manager from the hierarchy and let's select the game manager script and let's click those three dots and edit the script to view what exactly we are going to save. Now the game manager, as I have previously mentioned, is responsible for assigning what type of process is uh, invoked when we click on the uh, with our mouse. So we can see that we are using structure manager dot place big structure, place special structure and place house structure slide up let's select the structure manager class right click on it and let's select go to definition the appropriate script should be opened up and what we can see here is that we have different methods for placing different structures and what we are going to do is we are going to check the position this is the standard check to see if there is a road near this position else we cannot really place a house on this position and here is the culprit we are using the random uh, function to get the random index of our house prefabs uh, list, I believe. Uh, this is an array. So we are going to get the random prefab and we are going to pass the prefab to our place object on the map, which is from the placement manager. So let's right, uh, slide up and let's select our placement manager and right click on it and go to the definition. Now here the placement manager is responsible for placing the actual instance of a prefab on our map and how it does it is we have a place object on the map method that takes the position the game object and it is creating a structure model now the structure model is what contains all the data that we will want to save but as i have previously mentioned we have no idea what type of object it is since if we right click on it and go to the definition we are not saving the type of object, but rather the root position and we have some methods to create this model and to swap the model. But that's basically it. So what we will want to do is we will want to make sure that we save the data inside this structure model. And then when we want to save the data, we will extract all the structure models placed on our map. And then we are going to be able to save the data and recreate it. And as I have previously mentioned, we have no idea what type of object it is or what is the index of a prefab that we have selected for it. Now, the whole idea that I'm trying to convey here is that despite the fact that our structure model class worked well for our project when we have tested only the placement of roads and buildings on our map, it works poorly when it comes to saving the actual data so this means that we either have to add data to the structure model so that we can use it for saving or that we can refactor our code for creating the data so that it creates it in a way that we do not have to save the data that I was mentioning. Well, this isn't that easy. We will stick with saving additional data in our structure model class 
so that we can later save it and recreate it based on the structures that we are going to save in our save file. I'm going to go to the placement manager and as I have mentioned previously, first of all we want to save the cell type since this is important for the system. For example, when we press play and when we place a road on our map, the grid where we save our data about the type of the structure knows that this is a road and in this case we can do something like this when the a crossroad or four-way street is created when we cross another path uh, with our currently placed road. Well, when we are placing the structures, it simply saves the data about the structures and in the later uh, tutorial that I have created, we are using it for creating pedestrians and uh, traffic AI. If we go to our placement uh, manager and select the road, focus on it, and we can see that it has a structure model script on it. And since this doesn't know what type of structure it is, we are not going to be able to recreate it by loading the data. So, all in all, the thing that we need to do is to modify our structure model so that it saves all the data and we are going to use it to save the data to a file. So basically the first point of creating a save system is modifying our project so that it can actually save all the data that we will need to, to recreate those structures again. So let me stop the game and let's start refactoring our game before we can implement it into or implement to it our save system. I'm going to go back to our scripts and I'm going to actually open the scripts without the underscore where our previously created classes are. I'm going to select our structure model and reopen it. And as I have previously said, I want to save a couple of uh, values here beside the position of a road. Just above the create method, let's type prop. This is a snippet to create a property. I'm going to press tab twice to create it. I'm going to call the type will be cell type and the name. I'm going to use tab to move to the name. I'm going to call it building type. Okay. And let's set the setter to be private. So we are going to only set this type through the create model method. And again, we are going to need to have another property. So let's type prop, tab, tab. To create it, it will be of type int, that use tab to move to the name, and then we are going to call it building prefab index. Again, we are going to set the setter to be private. Okay. And now, all we need to do is just to set those two properties when we create our structure model. So, since we know that we need the, those, we are going to pass them when we create this model. So, game model will be the first parameter of create model. Next, we are going to pass int building prefab index or structure prefab index. And the last parameter will be the cell type building type. Okay, and I'm going to simply set the uh, building type equals our building type lower letter. And we are going to set building prefab index property and I want to have the property so the capital B equals our lower letter building prefab index and now we have saved the data required for uh, the reconstruction of our structure model now of course when we are making changes to the basic structures the uh, systems that uses those will be changed so since we did some modifications to the create model we are going to right click on this method and we are going to find all references that it has and we can see that it has a reference to the placement manager so let's double tap on this and we can see that we have an error because we are not passing the appropriate data here now as you can see create new structure model in the placement manager script doesn't contain the index that we should pass to the create model method so Again, we are going to have to modify this create a new structure model method by passing here a int building prefab index. Okay. And now all we need to do is simply fix the create model method call. So we are going to pass this building prefab index as well as we are going to pass here the type that we are already 
that we already have as the argument for this method or as the parameter for this method okay let's save it and again since we have modified the create a new structure model method we are going to right click on it and find all references to it so let's select the first one and we can see that we are using the place object on the map and here again we have the type but we do not have the index of a prefab so let's add a parameter int building index or building prefab index and just for the sake of it let's set it to be minus one since when we are placing a road we will not have any index because the road prefab is only one so let's pass to the create a new structure model our cell type type and our building prefab index great and i believe that we are already passing the type so only the building prefab index so let's go back to our list of methods that we have found and let's select the second one that is calling the create a new structure model and we are in a place temporary structure add here an, a parameter to this method int building prefab index equals minus one and we are going to pass it to our create a new structure model so let's pass building prefab index and this is it now since we have passed the minus one as the default building prefab index there are no more errors in our code and the place temporary structures can deal with it because it is used only by the road placement system which doesn't require us to call the building prefab index or to set it but when we have the previous method uh, somewhere above was the place object on the map it is used by the structure model uh, or the structure manager so let's right click on it and find all references and we can see that all references are in the structure manager class so let's slide up to the start of the structure manager and we can see that we have first place house which it has the place object on the map method and it generates our random index so we are going to copy it but we can see that we have already some predefined default uh, parameters so to pass the building prefab index we are going to add the comma after the cell type dot structure and let's type building prefab index let's type colon and let's type random index and now we are informing the place object on the map that we want to pass random index for the building prefab index parameter and not for the height or the width so let's copy this and we are going to slide down we have the place big structure now here we are predefining the width and height so we could of course pass here the random index for the place object on the map method since we are passing the width and height first so it doesn't really matter that we pass the uh, this without the name let's uh, slide it down and we have some checks and we have the place special structure which is the last method that uses the place object on the map and again here we are not passing the width and height so we are going to add the comma and building prefab index colon random index okay so now we should be able to save all the data that is required for the save system in our structure model class i'm going to control s to save the structure manager i'm going to go back quickly to the structure model and to expose those parameters for us to see if they are truly set we are going to add uh, a, an attribute so using square brackets let's type field to access the field of the property colon serialized field so we can serialize it and this is only this is, will only work when we are using unt 2020 version so let's add it up, uh, above the build prefab index building prefab index and above the building type let's save it let's go back to unity great we are going to start the game and i'm going to place some objects so let's type uh, let's uh, place some road a house a special structure and let's select the placement manager in the hierarchy let's select the road and you can see that the road has the build type a uh, building type road and building prefab index minus one while the structure has a specific building prefab index for the prefab array that we have in our structure manager as well as the special structure has also the prefab index set great so this means now that we can place any object on our map 
and all the data is saved in the structure model all we need to do is to retrieve all the structure models and convert them into a savable data format and this is what we are going to tackle in the next video